Good evening and welcome to our Wednesday Lenten worship service. This is the final uh, story from our series of Dinner with Jesus. Tonight we share the story of the Last Supper. Jesus gathers and shares this meal with his own disciples. After this supper, he will go out and they'll pray together in the Garden of Gethsemane. But this is that prayer or that meal where they gather and share. And Jesus says that the meal that he is offering to them, this bread and this wine, it is himself. He is giving himself for their sake and for the life of the world. Enjoy this story and welcome to worship. Thank you. 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. It was the time of the Jewish festival of Passover. Passover recalls the story from Exodus in the Old Testament when God rescued the people out of their slavery in Egypt. The observance includes a meal of roasted lamb and unleavened bread. This annual celebration is a reminder that God saves God's people. Since Jesus and his disciples were all faithful, practicing Jews, they had made preparations to celebrate the Passover together. Later on this same night, Jesus is going to be arrested and later killed. Therefore, this Passover meal has come to be known as the Last Supper. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at the table and all 12 of his apostles were with him. Then Jesus spoke to them. I have truly and urgently wanted to eat this Passover with you before I suffer because I'll, I'll tell you right now, I will not eat this meal again until all things are completed from the coming of God's kingdom. Then Jesus took the cup of wine, which is part of the Passover celebration, and he gave thanks. Then he spoke to all of them. Take this cup and divide it amongst yourselves and drink it. And I am telling you, from now and into the future, I will not drink the fruit of the vine until God's kingdom, God's reign on earth, comes here. Then Jesus took a loaf of bread, and when he, gave, when he had given thanks, he broke the bread, and he gave it to them, and he spoke these words. This bread is my body, which is given for you. Share this meal, and when you do, then remember me back into your presence. Then, after they ate the meal, Jesus did the same thing with the cup, and he spoke to his disciples again. This cup that is poured out, it has been poured for you, and it is the new covenant, God's covenant promise in my blood. But look among yourselves. The one who betrays me is right here with me. His hand is resting on the table right now. But I already knew that was coming, because the Son of Man is going as it has already been determined. But that doesn't let my betrayer off the hook. I have a warning for the one who has betrayed me. Watch out. Then the disciples all began to ask each other which of them could possibly be the one who would betray Jesus. Then an argument broke out among over which one of them would be regarded as the greatest. Jesus interrupted and broke off their conversation. The kings and the leaders among the surrounding peoples and nations lord it over their people. The wealthy and the ones in authority over others, they are called benefactors. They use their money and their power to manipulate and control people. It absolutely cannot be that way among you. Instead, the greatest among you must become more like a young child, and the leader among you must become more like a servant to all of you. Think about how it is out in the rest of the world. Who is greater, the one who is seated at the table, or the one who is doing the serving? It's the one seated at the table, right? But now, look at me and think about how I have lived when I am with you. I live among you as one who serves. You are the ones who have stood by me in every challenge and every difficult moment. And now I am granting to you the responsibility of taking care of a kingdom, just as God, my Father, first gave that responsibility to me. You have responsibility and authority in my kingdom. You may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and you will sit on thrones and look out on the twelve tribes of Israel. Jesus continued, but now he addressed Simon Peter. Simon, Simon, listen! The forces of evil are going to put terrible burdens and demands on all of you. You will be sorted and separated like grains of wheat being sifted. I want you to know, Simon, I have prayed for you so that your faith and trust in God will not fail. 
but you will go through trials and hard times very soon. But then, when you have turned back to your faithfulness, take care of those, these ones, your brothers, strengthen them and build them up. Simon Peter was brash and confident and replied to Jesus, Lord, you don't have to worry about me. I'm ready to go to prison with you. I would even die with you. Don't be so sure of yourself, Peter. I'm just warning you, by the time the rooster crows in the morning, you'll deny me three times. Three times you'll say that you do not know me.
goodness and light. Give to your people the peace that passes all understanding, and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Yeah.